Hello friends and neighbors, welcome to another session of Space Games and Space Beers with me, NPC. I am continuing my playthrough of the indie space RPG Spaceborn on Steam. And tonight's drink is the Starburst IPA from Ecliptic Brewing here in Portland, Oregon. The description on the can reads... A juicy tropical IPA with a galaxy's worth of Amarillo, Araca, Centennial, Mosaic, and Simcoe hops. I have been enjoying this one. It is tasty. Uh, I've actually had this drink many times. <laughs> uh, they suck it in my local convenience store. It's got a nice little starry pattern on it. In fact, I must say that this was probably the beer that I was looking at at the store shelf and I first thought to myself space beer space games and thus this was born so Starburst IPA thank you ah man it's really tasty this is super easy to drink it goes down very well oh what is the percentage on this one derp, 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 derp. Uh, 7.8%. So I'm um, kind of a hefty little IPA here in a can. Okay, anyway. Yeah, Spaceboard, part three. Let's pick up where we left off. Uh, continue. I have not done any grinding since then. So we're going to be uh, picking right up. With that terrible thought. Oh, dear God. that font all right uh here we go yep yep get my controls set up boom, boom, boom. all right all right madam titties let's talk to her what does she have to say okay here we are all right All right, so a real quick recap of the story. Uh, apparently, humanity was killed off by some aliens attacking with the disease. Although, if humanity was killed off, then, you know, I don't know where that sweet rat came from. Anyway, we're running around in the suit. We were the commander, humanity's savior against the aliens. Then we got sick with some space disease. We woke up in cryo, and now we are seeking a doctor. Here's the special note. You have no risk of dying to this disease in the game by taking too long. It is simply a plot point. It is not time. All right. Let's figure out what to do here. We got to look for someone who can help with the treatment and uh, we got to meet with Anka again. Well, hey, look at that. There's a doctor right there. Let's see what this guy says. Oh, this guy doesn't really look uh, like a good person. No one cares about science. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Again, if you guys want to read this story, then you can do so. Just, you know, frame for frame pause or something. I don't care. I'm just here to shoot people in space. <laughs> Are you a doctor? He wants me to sell him his limbs or give him slaves. You know, uh, nah, nah, nah I, I, sorry. I just personally can't role play bad people that easily and slave trade. Nope, not for me. Nope. Okay. Well, that guy failed. Who else we got? Uh, right. Uh, we got a ship up here. Modification, ship shop. Oh, yeah, we got some stuff. Let's actually, let's do that. Let's go check out the stuff we got. 
My. There we go. Anything cool here? Missile. We got a training missile. Dude. Yeah. Thank you. Nope. None of that's better than what we got there. What about our laser? Oh, that's our old laser. Wait. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just not. Oh, but it's something we got a. Oh. Uh, you know what? That's actually better. A uh, five second cooldown versus an eight second cooldown. Sure, it can potentially do 20 less, but it can also potentially do 30 more. Uses a bit more energy, but come on. Hell yeah. That cooldown is everything. Got a whole bunch of things loaded up here. All right, and we're just going to go sell all this. Where is the merchant in the station? Remember, we're looking for the market, not the trader. All right. Ah, the bazaar. That's what we want. True. Sell that. Sell the burned wire. Oh, sell all. That's what I want. Data rack. Sell all. Container parts. So uh, we need a crap load of money at this point. We're hoping to get ourselves a bigger ship. Or a, a better ship, I should say. Can't sell the food here because that's a trade good. That's what you sell to traders. Uh, energy booster... Yeah, that's actually useful. We'll keep that. Anyway. And is there anybody in here worth speaking to? No. If they were, they'd have their name on the map. All right. Anka. I've actually done this before in another account or another story, another safe game. But anytime you come to one of these stations that has, you know, this this kind of lozenge shape, you can come up in here and find somebody to give you a mission. Usually it's either the person standing right here or sometimes it's someone standing off to the side. Today it is General Garga or Jarja or Garja or whatever. We're going to try and get a mission. Yep. They want us to destroy a base. I've never done that before. Um, some XP. Decent amount of money. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some good faction points with this, some bad faction points with Zyax. Yeah, sure, why not? I don't know. Yeah, I don't really know if I want to be friends with the Zyax. So, uh, you know what? We'll just deal with it. Oh, there's nothing here. Okay, we do have a story mission, though. Let's go up here. Talk to this guy. I would like to see somebody. I want to see Anga. Allow me to take you there. Thank you very much, good sir. <sighs> yes, I really, really enjoy this IPA.
This suit looks so stupid. <laughs> Are you guys worth anything? No, this guy. This is who we want. I don't, you know, I'm going to be a pro at this, so uh, I'm not going to ask. <laughs> yeah, sure. What do you need? Details. Yuba system. Pilot to watch us back. Alright, we got a new mission. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. And that's pretty much, I think, all there is to do here, unless there is somebody. Yeah, that that that's it. Uh, I guess we could try and talk to Akra. She's, uh, where did she go? I think she went down here, maybe. Maybe? Sometimes the map can be very confusing. No. Oh, wait, there is Madam Titties. Hello, nice rack. Oh, <laughs> not you. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Oh, that's it? All right. Well, uh, your friend isn't here yet. She's probably dead. I don't care. Let's go. Do some space shooting. Yeah. Oh. Somebody just got me chicken. Oh, fuck off. I don't care. I do like chicken. It's one of my favorite foods. So, let's see how much we need to earn. Okay, giant stride. We don't want that one. Uh, electrical equipment. Yeah, no fun. Pathfinder is... Eh, it's no fun. We want Necro. Necro is a really good starting uh, battleship, I think. So, uh, we're going to compare to what we have here. So. It's got a better shield. So that's one. It's got more energy. So that's good. And a much better capacitor. Now that capacitor is going to be our good friend. Once we start making it the cash and getting some ship mods. Uh, this has a weapon energy reducer as well at 25%, which means we're going to be getting in some really, really good uh, shooting of our weapons before we start running out. And that was a problem if you saw in the previous videos, prolonged combats, we run out of energy. We don't want to do that. Modifier slots. Mod oh, typo. <laughs> Again. I think it was developed by one person. It's got a slightly higher damage absorption chance. Its shield recharges a lot faster. Its armor repairs a lot faster. Its energy recharges a little faster. This is just plain, in my opinion, a better ship. And it has the shock ability. That shoots out these lightning bombs, which caused that damage that we saw at the tutorial that just, you know, nuked everything. That's what we're going for here. The bubble. Boring. So, yes. Uh, CD? I don't remember what that is. All right. 130,000. And we are sitting... There we go. 
we are currently at 36,000. So we got 100,000 to go. Well, let's do this. We're going to once again save Captain Smarf. Overwrite. All right. Okay. Incoming analog transmission. Oh. Okay. These are random events here that will pop up occasionally when you uh, either load the game or when you leave a station or you teleport you uh, you know warp somewhere and this is one that we're going to do now in order to get it though we gotta find where they are so now we scan uh, signal point that's what we're looking for here now we could just ignore this but i think that they go away if you don't do them immediately so let's go fuck up some pirates. Warp drive charging in three, two, one. Enemy detected. this in a few days <laughs> apparently I forgot how Many of them. One of them. Ah. I might fail this. There's just too many of them.
starting to cramp. Yeah, we want the money. <laughs> Did we get anything worthwhile? Is the question. Eh, three grand, I guess. Sure. Anyway, let's get that sweet loot. We saved some pirate saved a guy from pirates. Sweet. No. <sighs> okay. Now we're gonna do the T1 debris. This is a random thing that'll pop up. Warp drive charging in three, two, one. This is a debris field. Every single thing that you see floating here is something that can be looted. And we're gonna break it up. We pop into that mode and see what I'm talking about. So what we're gonna do, first we're gonna select that and we're just gonna send our drone to work on it. While we are gonna go over here and do our own salvage. Shoot the salvage laser. Are you gonna do it? Do it, dude. Why? Come on. This is ridiculous. Salvage. I don't really know what's going on. Should be shooting a salvage laser right about now. There we go. Not sure what happened there, but my drone is going to, I'm just going to send him around to do all of these that I'm not currently working on. And we're going to be gaining XP the whole time. Drone, you go over there, and we're going to go over here. This is why drones are awesome. <laughs> it saves you time.
salvage the big one. Sometimes they're hard to click on when they're small and or far away. Send the drone to go get that one. And here comes our drone friend. We will take all. Send him. Go get that. I don't know what that is. There's something out there. be defended. Once you get used to doing these missions or these little events, you kind of work through a little bit of a rhythm where you ignore a lot of the smaller stuff. I used to be a completionist and insisted on getting everything, but again, these are random. You can generate new events by going to a station and leaving the station and then doing another scan. There's really no need to just get every single thing in one of these fields. Some of this stuff is useful for crafting, which I, I don't really do much with crafting. It seems to be one of those mechanics in the game that could have been implemented a lot better. Uh, there's just not that much to do with crafting. So, but anyway, for now, I'm just going to kind of, you know, strip the whole system dry. Except for maybe, oh, sometimes they're hard to click on. And it gets to a point where I'm like, I'm tired of clicking on that thing or even trying to. There's my buddy. There he is. Here he comes. Take all. Let's look at our cargo. Nope. Cargo. There we go. 842 out of 1,200. Yeah. We're going to sell as much of this as we can. Oh, and some of it's kind of cool stuff, too. You can normally break this stuff down for crafting. We're not going to do it. Remember, we're going for the gold. We want money as soon as we can. We want to get a new ship. So the next thing that we are going to do is turn off the scout mode. There we go. Now we're going to go check out the space anomaly. Space anomalies are interesting. This one looks like it's a big old asteroid. Oh, come on. They're not always the same thing. Warp drive charging in three, two, one. Here we go. These we're looking for a shiny thing. Oh, there it is. So we're going to do a quick fly through. Because sometimes these things are swarming with tiny little 
robots or whatever the fuck they are that are annoying as all goddamn hell. And while they are fun for target practice, I guess after the first few that you do, the moment, for me at least, when I fly through one of these and the little things start appearing, I just leave. They're such a pain in the butt to kill because they keep diving in and out of the little nooks and crannies and you gotta hunt them down. Not fun. Now, the cores, again, I think are probably useful in crafting, but they're also worth a crap load of money. <laughs> so, again, we're not really going to give a shit about crafting for this one. We, oh yeah, we got to get away from the anomaly. Then we can warp. Let's go sell our loot. Warp drive charging in three, two, one. By the way, have I mentioned how much I hate this font? It's awful. Developer, if you are listening, if you're watching, please do not use that font in the next game. It's the worst. Okie doke, here we go. Let's sell some stuff. Container parts, sell all. Data rack, sell all. Ooh, drugs are prohibited. Ooh, whatever. NRX turret, not good. Sell it. Frigate hull parts, sell them. Liquid acid, sell it. Everything must go now. Okay, see? We went from, uh, we started the session with 38, we're up at 70. We are a little over halfway to our goal to buying that ship. This is, uh, oh yeah, you know what, while we're here, let's go see if we can find that trader and see if he'll buy this junk. Oh wait, you know what? No. What we'll do... Is that it? Nope. What we will do is go to our bank and store the trade goods for a later time. This is the bank, right? Freaking bank terminal. Am I am I blind? Listener, what, viewer, if you <laughs> if you could help. Oh, it just didn't have a little pop up thing. All right, yeah, let's save for a later date. What? Oh. But what? It is a trade good. That's a trade good. I guess I can't store illegal stuff. Huh. Well, fuck you. I don't need you. Alright, let's get out of here. Actually, you know what? We've been at this for a little over a half hour. 
Oh, it's this asshole again. Fuck off. Don't care. Some stupid side mission that's that just isn't even worth my time. All right, we're gonna hit him over here. We're gonna save. Yes. All right. Well, that was uh, about a half hour or so of Spaceborn, episode three of this Space Games, Space Beer. I think in the next episode, I'm probably going to mix things up a bit, change the game. Getting a little tired of Spaceborn. I've played it a decent amount. I very much enjoy the game, but there's a lot of other games I want to show off. If anybody just wants to see more of this, let me know and I'll keep playing. But hey. Thanks for checking out my channel. Thanks for watching these videos. Uh, got any requests, any beers that you want to hear, uh, if they're worth drinking, uh, any games that you want to see somebody play. Thanks again for checking us out. <laughs>